For this lab, I have scotch tape and a little slip of paper. With the scotch tape, what I've done is I've pulled off a piece and then I've folded over a tab and um, pushed it or laid it on the table. And I actually have a layer of three pieces of tape and I repeated that process, so I have two. I have um, three pieces of tape here and three pieces of tape here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the top two pieces of tape, and I've labeled them T and B, or top and bottom. And then I'm going to pull them apart. Ooh, they're already, the, the, they already wanna attract my hand. I'm going to pull them apart and I'm going to try to stick them on here. And it, oops, it's sticking to my hand. It's got some static charge to it. So I'm just going to stick it on here. Try to arrange this one. You really don't want to touch it too much. So I've got um, the top tape, the bottom tape, and a plain piece of paper. So now I've got my second set of tapes and I'm going to repeat the process. And what I'm going to do is see what happens when I bring two top tapes together. What happens when I bring two bottom tapes together. And also what happens when I bring the paper near. Um, show you, oh, there's a little bit of fuzz on this paper. I hope you can see that. Well, it didn't work very well. I'm going to do it one more time. See if I can do a better job. Okay, so I've got my two pieces of tape. I'm going to pull them off the table. Then I'm going to pull them apart. Then I'm going to stick one there. Ooh, it really wants to attract, did you see that? And I'm gonna stick one there. Okay. Um, when I bring a piece of paper near, the piece of paper is just slightly, there we go, is slightly attracted to both the top and the bottom tape, but there's really no attraction between the two pieces of paper. Now what I'm going to do is um, I've got another set of tapes and I'm gonna pull it apart. And the one in this hand, the one I have here is the bottom tape. And what I can see is that the bottom tapes repel each other and the, the top and bottom tapes attract each other. I don't know how well you can see that. Now in my other hand, I have the top tape, which actually just attracted to my hand. I'm gonna have to start over. Let me stick the tape down. Stick the top tape down. Okay, I'm gonna pull. Pull the top and bottom tapes off, and now I'm going to pull them apart, and I'm going to work with the top tape. So I'm going to put that one down. So the top tape repels the other top tape, and the top tape attracts the bottom tape. The top tape also attracts the paper. The bottom tape attracts the paper. So it appears to me that um, likes repel, the two tops repel, the two bottoms repel, opposites attract, here I've got a top and a bottom and a top and a bottom, they attract, and both the top tape and the bottom tape attract the paper. Um, you can do that lab uh, on your own with tape and paper, hopefully you have those materials around. Now I'm going to do one more thing, I'm going to try to figure out whether the top and the bottom are positively or negatively charged. So here I've got um, a rubber rod, it's hard plastic. If you don't have one lying around, you can use something made out of rubber like a comb. But um, I'm gonna do the rubber rod and you'll notice the bottom tape is repelled and the top tape is attracted. So repelled and attracted. So I know that this, this rod is negatively charged so I'm guessing that since it's negatively charged, it is um, 
the bottom tape is also negatively charged. And notice that um, the negatively charged rod attracts the neutral paper. All right, that is the sticky tape experiment. Again, I have actually never tried it with a comb. I'll try it with something I might have around the house. Here's a comb. Oh, sure enough, the comb is negative as well. The comb repels the bottom tape. So I'm assuming that the bottom tape is negative.